be executed in bits and pieces. Cool, smashing, isn't it? Now, another movie tone colour presentation, this time at Fandra, the coming of age display. And one of the most interesting items at this 21st show was given by Valiance of Britain's B Bomber Force. You might call it the two minute scramble, acting on an order signalled from Bomber Command HQ. Thanks to a special method of starting all four engines at once, it's possible to get these great machines off the ground faster than ever. Time for all four Valiants on this occasion, one minute, 56 seconds. The flying display is fascinating, especially close-ups in the air. The Herald, for instance, that well-proved median-range transport. A victor comes in to steal the picture, and what a splendid picture high above Farnborough. The victor, of course, is another of the V-bombers with which Britain could hit back. Among cargo carriers, the Argosy is an impressive multi-purpose freighter. The Jet Provost trainer has the distinction of having been designed as a trainer, the first ever, I believe. Another jet trainer now, the Nat, and it looks a bit like one. Hunters have been produced by the hundred and have seen service all over the world. A naval fighter, the NA-39, now called the Buccaneer. And here, making its first Farnborough appearance, a new airliner, the Avro 748. Highlight of the show is the SC-1, the vertical takeoff and landing machine, the first jet aircraft of its kind in the world. It has four vertically mounted jets to provide lift and a horizontal jet for propulsion. The SC-1, indeed, may well point the way to a major revolution in man's command of the air. Also on display is Blue Steel, the standoff bomb, the CT-41 radio-controlled target drone, and modern artillery in the shape of Bloodhound. Once again, visitors to this great British display saw the treble one squadron of hunters giving their wonderful performance. I understand it's the last time they'll be seen in this formation flying display at Farnborough. The show they put on is nonetheless magnificent. And let's hope the Royal Air Force will still entertain and thrill us at future Farnboroughs. show reveals the skill of British aircraft construction, Treble One Squadron underlines the fact that British pilots are also second to none.